Hello everyone and welcome to the Windows installation video of Windows 7 Ultimate 64-bit. I think that's the version I've got. I've actually forgotten because it's been so long. On my PC. So boot from CD or DVD. Press any key. And that's awesome. We're booting up into the Windows installer. I'm going to raise my old Windows installation. And we're going to get this all going good. Really excited just to start playing some games with this card. It's going to be awesome. You can see we have the little starting Windows thing here. Looking very cool. Everything seems to be going great so far. It's very bright today. There's no sun out, but it's really, really bright. And I've improved the quality settings on my camera. I can't remember if I've already said. Um, so everything should look a bit better. The colours should look a bit more vibrant. Colours certainly look more vibrant from here. I hope this video turns out good. I'll still upload even if the quality is wacky. Just because I want you guys to see all this. That card is so big. Okay. Let's do some of my left-handed mouse movement. I accept. Next. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to uh, erase my hard drive, repartition and all that good stuff. So it's copying the Windows files. It's copied them. It's expanding Windows files. As you can see, it's going great. Um, I'm just going to nip downstairs quickly, grab some breakfast. Um, yeah, this will be really cool. I am just, I just can't wait to get the driver installed. Can't wait to get playing some games, really. Just super excited. Okay, so this is what the progress is looking like. It's just installing updates. It's just come onto this step now. So we've got three green ticks there. Everything's looking good. Again, I'm really excited. The updates bit seems to have finished. Okay. Windows needs to restart to continue. Anyway, um, I've had some breakfast, as you can see from the plate over there. And everything's going great. The card isn't as loud as I was expecting. And I can feel some air coming out of it even though it doesn't get rid of most of its air throughout the um, throughout the back I don't think I think it just like moves it off into the case mostly so it's kinda good that I've got a lot of exhaust fans so setup is done and it's doing its final restart I believe so that's looking great um, one thing that I dislike uh, here you can see setup is preparing your computer for first use one thing I don't like about this, and I'm not sure why, is I do get a bit of interference from um, both the drives, the CD drive and the hard drive, uh, through the speakers. So whether it's my, um, it's like it needs grounding, you know? So whether it's my audio extension cable that I used or, I'm not too sure. But anyway, I'm just going to enter some of these details or all of these de details and I'll be back with you on the desktop. So I'm just installing the drivers that came with my motherboard off the CD. I can't connect to the internet, so I'm installing the um, network driver, things like the audio driver, this on-off charge stuff. Looking pretty cool. This is a pretty late revision of the, uh, of the particular motherboard that I have, so the CD isn't too out of date, which is good. And the only thing I'm really worried about is connecting to the internet and uh, getting the graphics card driver. I just need to get onto the MSI website now and get a decent graphics card driver. But anyway... Um, this took a while last time, so I think it's going to take a while this time. So all of my Gigabyte um, motherboard drivers are done and the Gigabyte utilities have also installed. I'm now downloading the um, graphics card driver straight from the MSI website, as you can see. So that was very, very easy. And then probably a restart and everything should be going pretty good. This is looking great so far. So the display driver has installed successfully. As you can see, everything's looking lovely. And I've installed Chrome. Got a nice clean slate. Love how everything's going. Um, gonna quickly grab uh, some antivirus now before everything before everything goes down the pan. So I've got MSI Afterburner open here and you can see that it detects my card absolutely fine. Temperatures are good. Excellent actually. And everything's looking great. Right then. Let's get on to the exciting stuff. 
Just installing, left for dead. Gonna see if I can max this out, I think I can. This is gonna be awesome and I'm gonna play through Left 4 Dead. I love this game. So I decided to download the Heaven 2.0 benchmark and these are my settings. DirectX 11, our shaders are on high. We've got normal tessellation. Um, we're running at our full resolution. You can see all the settings there. Pause the video if you can't quite catch it. I'm not sure how this is coming out on the camera. We're running at our full resolution, full screen. And let's run the benchmark just because I want to see the frames per second. Now the reason I'm running this, I know I said I was going and everything, but the reason I'm running this is because my 5770 did a terrible job. I know I had a defective card, but it was very bad. Okay, so check out the FPS. Depending on where we are, we're going everywhere from sort of 25 all the way up to 40. You can see it's very jumpy, of course. Here you go, we're going into the bottom of the ship there and panning over the top. Looking very nice. Very smooth. Again, let's take a look at the settings so you can see. DirectX 11, everything like that. We have shader quality on high, texture is on high. We also have all the options turned on. And the performance is very nice, very smooth. Not to mention the fact that it looks downright gorgeous. With DirectX 11, you can see the grass here. Check this out, this looks amazing. All separate bits. With DirectX 11, you can really see some, you know, the images just pop out of the screen. It's wonderful. Little bit laggy there, of course. As we were zooming in, it was noticeable for a tiny bit of lag. But hey, we've got all the settings, or lots of the settings, pretty cranked up. And this is at standard clock speeds for both my graphics card and my CPU. My graphics card's running at 930, factory overclocked and my CPU is running at 3.2 gigahertz. Looking wonderful. So as you can see, the machine is doing really well. It's time for my second outro of this entire video. I just can't get over the performance. It looks amazing. So stay tuned for some more videos relating to the gaming PC in the future. Thanks everyone.